In my last demonstration, Year 10, we looked at how Laura Oldfield fo Ford focused his on urban environment and we drew some tower blocks. Um, I'm going to try and make these a little bit more abstract by doing some gestural marks that maybe Frank Auerbach would have started with. First, I'm going to get a clean piece of paper and I'm going to find my vanishing point. I think it's around about here. Then I'm going to do some gestural marks coming away from the point. Really streaky marks. Some of them I'm going to press on hard. Some of them a bit lighter. Okay, just to give myself some idea of how my building is going to be. I'm put some vertical marks coming through. You can see in here in my voice that the move, you know, the movement, the expression. I'm trying to make gestural marks but make them count. You can still almost start seeing tops and bottoms of buildings appear. Okay. Now I'm using pencil at the moment. I'm also gonna give myself some really strong marks for where the other buildings are. Now this scene is gonna have weather. I'm gonna make it look like it is absolutely tipping down in a minute but first of all i'm going to add some colors because i've got a few felt tips knocking around and repeat some of these marks in perspective lines would get thinner as they go away but because we're working a bit abstract those sorts of laws don't really exist here in this painting. I've got some greens, I've got some oranges. Now in your packs that got sent home you've got pencil crayons, you could do this with pencil crayons as well. In fact I'm going to get some pencil crayons out because I give myself the same pack. And I'm thinking of colour combinations at first that go well together. I'm thinking of warm colours. And I want to make the building seem a little bit warmer because as I said I'm going to try and make the environment around them seem cold and unforgiving and over here i'm not interested in this bit frank Habak might just do smudges and scribbles again it's sort of what we want to see in your drawings is some energy okay so i've got some oranges got some magentas I'm coming up with different combinations and then I think at the end I'm going to use my Sharpie which you've all got in your packs. Again I'm, I'm not even thinking about windows I'm just thinking about the structures that will be there but, but my marks as you notice are following the lines of perspective still because whilst it's abstract it's still going to give us Some structure and people sort of recognize what's there but maybe not now this is fairly similar to what you've been doing on the PowerPoint but I think the physical drawing should have lots more energy look a little bit more like Frank Abax because none of these lines are drawn with a straight line or with a ruler I should say they're all gestural marks okay so a lot of those fat ones and then i did say about the sky was going to be dark and um oppressive so i'm going to try and find my black pencil crane or a dark blue one and i want the direction of my um weather to be the opposite to the perspective to create a good contrast and to do this i'm going to turn my picture around I'm going to come away from a second vanishing point there. A 
the rain is pouring down into this scene. And then at the bottom, I'll turn it back around again. At the bottom, I just want pools and pools of black rain that has come down from the clouds. And this is all on horizontal because we're trying to make it fit into an environment. I'm gonna go back to my dark pen, which is like a Sharpie. Just create a bit of distance between these buildings. I'm quite fortunate that I do have a bit more of a range, possibly, of materials than you guys. But again, if you notice, you can still get the same sort of similar sort of effects. The stuff that you have got, you know, you could do you use your Sharpie for this. But you want to make this top of this as if it's towering above us, so I'm going to make that darker. I think it needs more colour. Um, what have I got? I've got pink or something that's going to stand out. Mm, we've not used blue yet. Well, I don't think I've got a blue one. Maybe a blue pencil crayon. That'll do. The blue contrasts nicely against the warm colours. Almost there. I just want to make this building here have a bit more better perspective, and I think I'm just going to do that and shade it up a bit. So, horizontal, diagonal, vertical lines with different strokes and different colours. And if I pull this away, so we've got like a Laura Oldfield Ford version, and we've got my Frank Auerbach version. Yeah. 